this video, you're going to see what it takes to make an employee onboarding process that's very slow and very manual and turn it into something super efficient and automated. To explain this further, I want to share one of my client's stories. James is the owner of an emergency medical services company that services seven locations across five different states in the US. His initial request was something like, can you guys just help us automate paperwork with DocuSign? But after analyzing their workflow, they also needed an application tracking system and a ton of integrations. By the way, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi and I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. We help companies just like yours automate document related tasks in their sales, onboarding and recruitment workflows. So if you're tired of fighting documents and manual tasks alone, you can find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy session with one of our consultants. But if you prefer to do things on your own, I strongly suggest that you download our free document automation cheat sheet because it will help you understand how you can automate all your forms and your documents. Let me take you back actually to before we automated everything, when a candidate applied for a new position, the hiring man manager for that position would be notified of the new application simply by an email. And unfortunately, the applications didn't land in an application tracking system, but simply in the manager's shared inbox in Outlook. And to add insult to injury, the form applicants were submitting only captured minimal information, such as their name, phone numbers, emails, and the name of the position they were applying for. Managers had to call back every single applicant who applied for a position. I can only imagine how painful it was to schedule interviews without an actual application tracking system. I just don't know how they did it for so many years. But now here's what was happening after the interview. This is even crazier. They were creating offer letters in Word, uploading them inside of DocuSign, adding state and tax forms, background check authorization forms, direct deposit authorization forms, employee manual, I-9, and finally sending it for completion to the candidate via DocuSign. After candidates were done completing all the DocuSign stuff, they had to create their own profile in the company's HR system and enter the exact same information that already entered in DocuSign in the HR system all over again. The process was just so confusing for some candidates that the hiring managers had to stay with them while they were doing it to guide them through the process and finally send candidates information to the payroll team so that these candidates could get paid because they need to be set up in the accounting system in QuickBooks. Now, let's talk about the new process that we've implemented. We started by redesigning the employment application form using JotForm. And if you want to test JotForm, you can get a free trial using the link down below. I'll now submit an application for a paramedic position as Bob Smith in the Lake City location so that you can see the entire flow. And this here is a consent for background check. And so I can just sign and I'm going to hit submit. I've just submitted the application form as Bob Smith uh, for a paramedic position in Lake City. Now, the second thing that we've implemented for James is an application tracking system that we built inside of Airtable. And so here, as you can see, I'm, I've got my Bob Smith um, application record. And so if I open that record, I'm able to see all the things that Bob put in his application form without me having to read and pull up the actual application form itself. I can leave notes about Bob if I want to, or I can even start a conversation about Bob with one of my uh, team members. And because I think that Bob is a potentially uh, suitable candidate, I'm going to shortlist him and then I'm going to give him a call. So. I'm going to go to shortlist or reject and select shortlist. And just within a few seconds, the status of Bob has now changed from applied to shortlist. You can see it's moved here. So we'll pretend that my phone chat with Bob ran really well. And so I want to invite him. Uh, I've actually invited him for an interview next Wednesday at 4 p.m. So what I'm going to do is select the interview date, which is next Wednesday. And I'm going to say at 4 p.m. And so just in a few seconds, this button here will allow me to send an email confirmation to Bob. I'm going to click that now. Bob has disappeared from here. Bob ran to the interviews tab and I can now see here I've got Bob and he's still in the interview booked stage. And you can also see that there is a field called search and search form status and it says sent. Let's take a look at what this is. So I'm now looking at the email confirmation that Bob has received. 
And as you can see, the email also contains the link to another form just right here. This is what we call the search and cert form. Let me explain. Since Bob applied for a paramedic position, he needs to provide his driver's license as well as other certifications that show that he's trained for the job and that the licenses that he holds haven't expired. We've done this because in the previous process, candidates would show up for the in-person interview with expired licenses or with no licenses at all. So if the status of this form changes, doesn't change to completed by candidate like for this particular candidate here, then the hiring manager can easily contact the candidate to reschedule or even cancel the interview to save everyone's time. Now let me fill out this form um, as Bob. And actually, I'm going to fill out the form on the phone so that you can see how easy it is for candidates. And again, this is Jot form. You can sign up using the link in the description down below. And as you can see, the candidate's details have been completely filled out. So Bob doesn't need to provide his information again and the form is of course completely mobile responsive. This is where I need to upload my driver's licenses and other certifications. So we'll just pretend that this is my driver's license. The candidate can either take a photo or upload a photo. I absolutely love Jod. And here I need to upload three more certifications. And finally, I've submitted the form. Now, if I go back to Airtable, the status of the form inside of Bob's record in Airtable has changed to completed by candidates. You can review all the information and you can see I have my image here for my driver's license and I should also have my images for my certifications. They're just here. What I could do here as the manager ahead of the interview is to open my sort of open Bob's certifications and make sure that all the certifications are valid. We'll now pretend that everything checked out and I want to offer the position to Bob because Bob is a great guy, right? So I'm going to select the interview outcome and I'm gonna say that I want to offer a position to Bob. I'm gonna enter the pay rate for Bob and the start date following Wednesday, 10 a.m. The next thing that I need to do is to indicate whether Bob is going to sign in person or remotely. Then I will click on generate and preview. And so this will instantly create a draft set of documents that Bob needs to complete and sign so that they, he can join the company. So I can check all the position, I can check the pay rate, I can check the sudden bonus. Here I've got my welcome letter that explains the start time, the start date, the address. And um, there's also a de deposit authorization uh, form. And then we have a state and federal tax forms as well as an I-9. Now imagine how much time this is saving managers because they don't need to create the envelopes manually. And you, as you can see, the envelope is pre-filled as well. So there is actually nothing to do for the manager. Just click the button and that's it. Something that's important to note is that since the business operates in five different states, the automation will automatically add the appropriate state tax form. If the candidate was applying for a job in Georgia, we would have a G4. In Alabama, would have an A4. Now, once I've checked that all the details are correct, I can actually go ahead and send that envelope to Bob because what I'm looking at now is still just a draft. So I'm going to close this, go back to my Airtable, and I'm going to say that, yes, I do want to send the employment package. And so this is a place where I can track the signature status and I can also void the employment package, you know, if I no longer want to offer the position to Bob. And in case I want to change any of the details inside of the envelope that I've already sent, such as, I don't know, the start date or the pay rate, I can go ahead and click on correct the envelope to fix all the information in my fields. But for now, let me just sign the employment package as Bob so that you can see the rest of the flow. So I've now signed the employment package as uh, the candidate, as Bob, and normally the status here will change in a couple of minutes from sent to awaiting for supervisors because the I-9 needs to be countersigned by the employer. The supervisor can also access the envelope easily from here by clicking on sign the employment package. I've now signed the I-9 as the supervisor and I'm going to go back, go back to Airtable. I'm just going to wait for all these status here to disappear. Now, this means that Bob received a copy of all the documents and I, as the supervisor, can access all the documents, the signed DocuSign envelope, uh, simply by going here. So this is the completed document. Here I've got my PDF. And we've also obviously saved a copy uh, of all the documents inside of OneDrive as a backup. Now, the last step is for Bob's manager to submit uh, and wait for all background drugs and other screenings to clear out. As we can see here, the screening and drug test hasn't been done because everything is great. 
So that dashboard really shows all the screen that needs to be done. The beauty of this solution is that we can build very easily on top of it. For example, now we're working on phase two of this implementation, which will run all of these screenings completely automatically. We're also working to automatically create the candidate's payroll profile inside of QuickBooks so that uh, nobody has to do this manually. You might think that we're using Zapier and well, no, we're not. We're using Make. Make is similar to Zapier, but it's much more visual. Let me show you. So you can see different paths based on different conditions. You can sign up for a free Make trial account using the link in the description down below. Actually, I think you get two months for free because you're using our link. So I hope that this video inspired you to automate your employee onboarding process. If you're interested in speaking to one of our team members about implementing something similar, you can use the link below to schedule a consultation with one of our consultants. And in the next video, I want to show you how we've um, just helped an investment fund raise 64 million in 24 hours, still pretty impressive, by automating a mass distribution of investor agreements to 350 investors using DocuSign, Make, and Airtable. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next one. Ciao.